hello, welcome to Whiskey Advent 2020, day nine. We are the Barbers. Hello. Blake and Chantel. And we took a little break yesterday, no video, but we are back at it today. We have chosen another local artisan craft distillery. One of our absolute favorites, Rocktown Distillery out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Um, we lived in Little Rock for quite a while. I'm originally from upstate New York, and I moved there when I was, I don't know, 20 or 21. Blake's I'm originally, originally from near Austin, Texas, San Marcos area. Uh, moved to Little Rock when I was five years old, so I call myself from Little Rock. Um, so we're not, neither of us are native Arkansans, but we've definitely been here long enough to be full blown Arkansans now. No, mm. no. I'm not a race Rex fan. But we are Arkansas whiskey fans, mm -hmm. specifically fans of Rocktown Distillery. Um, are we fans of Rocktown Distillery because they're from Arkansas? Not fully. No. Because there are other distilleries in Arkansas which we are not fans of. They make Rock good Town products. Rocktown makes great whiskey. They sure great do. Great whiskey. Our first experience with them was Blake got a Groupon this would have been back in August of 2014. We had a new baby. She was only a few weeks old. And we had two other older kids who were in school. And he had a group on to go have a tour of this distillery in Little Rock. They just opened. Oh, well, no, they actually opened in 2010. Oh, sorry. It's okay. So anyhow, we thought, you know what? Family trip. We checked the two older kids out of school early so we could make the distillery tour. Um, and it was our little baby Stella's first distillery tour. She yes. was in the Ergo. We dragged the other kids with us. Um, they did not have a good time. <laughs> we we did. had a great time. <laughs> um, and we very much enjoyed we, the tour, tasting. They explained how um, the master distiller, um, Phil Brandon, is was a former executive at um, Alltel, Alltel and now part of Verizon. He went to study under Maker's Mark uh, Distillery and Maker's Mark Master Distiller, and he came back to Little Rock to create his, his own distillery. And he helped change some laws, get some things rolling, um, so he could open the first legal distillery in Arkansas since Prohibition. And... We find they are all about their products there. He's not flashy. I mean, they really want to make a good product. Every and time we do. visit, he's in and out. You might catch a glimpse of him. Glimpse of him. He's not schmoozing. He's not doing anything but he's making, making whiskey. whiskey. Yeah. And we love the place. They have a great tour. Uh, it's 10 bucks or 15 bucks if you want the extended tour. They give you a sampling of every single thing they make. And every single thing they make is pretty good. And they do make vodkas. Uh, they make a beautiful aged gin. They age their gin in a X, X rye barrel. And it is fantastic. A, a little cucumber. And it's just amazing. It's, it's really good. Um, we love all their products. Generally, there may be a few here and there that we just don't quite like. And yeah, they're local to us. So we really like them. But... Um, they're very experimental. They win a lot of awards. They beat all the big guys and they're kind of up and comers, but still relatively unknown. We love them. So tonight, yep. what do we have? This is the Arkansas Hickory Smoked Whiskey. Um, so this, and they do as an artisan craft distillery, very, um, focused on being a local, uh, producer, all of their wheat, barley, corn, um, they get within 125 miles of their distillery. So the Arkansas, and I, where's, you have the model. Mm -hmm. This is a hickory smoked whiskey. Um, it is 91% Arkansas soft red winter wheat and 9% malted barley. It was aged for, I believe, 29 months? 29. 39, 39 months. Uh, 29, 29 yes. months. 29 Batch 39. Batch 39, 29 months. 29 months. And... They they have their own um, custom made cold smoker on site, so they cold smoke 
the wheat before they make this this whiskey. Um, so you you do get some, and we'll taste here in a second. Sniff and taste here in a second. You do get some um, barbecuey. I guess barbecue. I, you get the hickory. You get you do get the hickory smoke. Um, they just they, another one we have that we tried last night downstairs. A, a chocolate malted whiskey. We're gonna have a little whiskey cheese pairing get together for Blake's brothers and their wives here yes. shortly. Um, and that one we're choosing for the dessert thing. It's just it, it's fun. It tastes like yes. chocolate. It's just it's different. This is what we're saying that we're creative. Um, I really love their single barrel bourbon. Fantastic. It's a weeded bourbon. It's really good. Uh, their single barrel rye is one of my top ryes of all time. It's very good. Yeah. It's barrel proof. It is strong. It is rye, it rye's rye, spicy. It's number, I would put it at number three on my rye list of <laughs> all time rye's. Um, they focus on the craft. It's not the absolute best thing you've ever had, but it is so but good, good across the line. And that chocolate mm. malt that we tried last night is really fantastic. They're just interesting. It's good. Yeah. We enjoy it, and we're proud. I mean, we're proud of it because we are proud of it. it's exciting to have such good yeah. quality stuff coming out of here. You know, essentially, it was our hometown for a while, not anymore. Yeah. Um, so if you, if you get the chance to be in Little Rock, go visit. Even if you don't take a tour, go they visit. have like a little bar there with some cocktails. They moved probably a few years ago to a beautiful new location. Their bar is, a, is great. And so it, yeah. it's a great place. Let's Anyhow, get tasting. Yes, let's. Or sniffing. Definitely grain. And remind us of the mash bill again. It is 91% wheat specific. Arkansas soft winter. No, wait. Arkansas soft red winter wheat and then nine percent malted barley and then with the cold the the wheat being cold smoked with with hickory What are you getting on the nose? I'm getting the grain. I'm not uh, getting I'm getting the barley and the grain. I, I do get a little banana I, uh, Banana action. funk banana funk. It I is a kind of funky that, like funky a... funky whiskey is very different than anything we've tasted so far very it's strong in a way but it's not high proof 90 proof yeah i taste it mm. i'm getting that grainy cereal flavor now that he's mentioned bananas because he always seems to find bananas in whiskey i am there was a cereal growing up maybe it still exists but banana nut crunch ah yes it does the hickory yeah, grains and banana I'm, the I'm, hickory is coming out yeah strong it is coming out really strong, like nice that smoked barbecue, barbecue flavor. Yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Let me also not mention, or also mention, there's not any other wheat whiskeys that I've had or know of around at all. I don't know any of just straight yeah, wheat. You're right. The, Most the have basic corn mash bill, wheat. yeah, the basic mash bill is corn, rye, wheat, or barley, or and one of those four. You know, there's the odd quinoa, there's the odd rice whiskey, there's the odd some other weird grain. But most are those four grains, and most are barley or corn. With uh, some wheat thrown in there. With some or wheat thrown in there, or some rye, rye with those ingredients thrown in there. But there's nothing just, a, you know, majority wheat. Uh, so it's this real, is it's, very it's, odd. For being wheat, it's, it's got a nice little spice to it, too. Mm -hmm. I believe they use um, X. Um, they use used barrels. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I think it says it on the label. Well, none in every. So you're ever, some, not in every product. Turn to the back. Mm -hmm. I want to say I read it. X, okay. Ah. Yep. X bourbon casks. So. And their own X bourbon casks. So they have a bourbon. They have their different bourbons, and then they'll use reuse those bourbon barrels uh, for this this. So you get a nice, you, you get the bitterness from the oak and the cask, and a little, very I get a little vanilla too. Mm. Maybe from the bourbon barrels. And that's what I'm thinking. It's, it's, it's not complex in a way that you would think, oh, wow, this, this whiskey blows my socks off, but you definitely have to come do a double take on this because it's not something you're used to when you, when you're 
drinking bourbon or you're drinking rye most of the time or then you drink a scotch and even though scotch has regions and different flavors you're not getting a scotch note here you're not getting a bourbon note here you're not getting american single malt you're not getting rye you're getting arkansas whiskey baby. arkansas whiskey <laughs> that's wheat based uh with a hint of barley a hint of cereal you're getting your your mm. hickory smoke it's it's very pleasant any finish for you any, the finish for me lingering? really is vanilla is lingering little bitterness is lingering and a little barbecue a little hickory is lingering it's got a sharp bitterness right up front blends into the hickory and then mellows out I'm getting a faint marshmallow generally goes along with the the kind of banana flavor for me mm. all around this is a solid whiskey it is it's reasonably priced and all their stuff's reasonably all their stuff priced. is very reasonably priced i'd say that that single barrel rye is one of the best value buys out there just because it's about 60 70 dollars it's a single barrel it's cast strength it is incredibly good and it also makes a good manhattan great makes a great manhattan great cocktail